Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you very much for the invitation to speak about adaptation partnerships. Now, following years of uh, sustained effort, climate resilience and finance are finally experiencing some real breakthroughs. The climate resilience emergency is driving shared realities and mindsets that are helping us adapt uh, faster and at the scale required. We've seen some major announcements in Glasgow from public-private groups, including the Insurance Development Forum and the Ocean Risk and Resilience Action Alliance, as well as the multi-stakeholder Global Resilience Index Initiative, uh, which is launching as I speak. Back in um, 2019, at the UN Climate Action Summit, we launched the Coalition for Climate Resilient Investment, or CCRI. CCRI's mission is to deliver practical solutions for better pricing of physical climate risks in investment decision making. And CRI, CCRI's solutions cover two critical areas of decision making. The first is national planning or systemic resilience, and then asset design and structuring. During the last two years, we've had an ever-growing coalition of um, governments, of civil engineers, investors, climate analysts, and rating agencies, all working together to try to crack the code in these areas. And today, we're now in a position where we're launching two important solutions. The first is a national uh, economic prioritization tool in Jamaica. We developed this in partnership with the government of Jamaica, the UK government, the Green Climate Fund, and the University of Oxford. This tool is going to inform national adaptation plans by guiding governments to the most efficient investments. It's gonna protect all aspects of national value, social, biodiversity, and economic. And we plan to expand the use of this tool to many other countries over the coming year. Second, we're moving our attention from the regional scale, and we're focusing on the bridge, the road, and the hospital. With collaboration between 27 public, private, and academic institutions, the physical climate risk assessment methodology integrates resilience into cash flows. And besides these two important solutions that we've announced today, CCRI has now uh, initiated its capital piloting phase which is going to result in CCRI's League of Investment Funds for Resilience. This series of investment solutions will apply CCRI solutions toward resilient investments across critical regions, and it's committed to raising at least US $5 billion by COP27. Here in Scotland 245 year, uh, years ago, Adam Smith introduced the invisible hand that shapes the wealth of nations. Now. Through system-wide partnerships, we're forging the tools it needs to protect all of us in the climate decades ahead. Thank you.